September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Hello guys, it's Gil here from Machinars and in this video I want to talk a bit about the typewriter effect. I have this Resident Evil footage, this Resident Evil 3 classic, because it's my favorite. And I, I just take this footage from the internet, I just extract from another clip, another video, and I remove it, the end part here, where the typewriter effect appears. So we have only sound. September 28th, daylight. And we will create our own typewriter effect. So I'm gonna create a new title. And here I already have the text because I don't know how to write. I just know how to read and speak, more or less. So I will copy and bring it to the text editor from in Caden Live. And now I will bring this text to the left side, align to the left. And my size is 72. It's okay. And I will I will check the letter space in here by six and bring it to the corner. The original one is not exactly in the corner, so I will let a bit to the right. And here on the right side we have the typewriter effect. You just enable and we have some settings right here. So the only one that is important for us is the frame step. Because the, these other two right here, it almost don't make any change. I mean, I think it's still a work in progress. I try high values and for me, for now, it's useless for me. So you just choose the expansion mode. By char, it means it will draw one character each, wherever step, wherever frame step you check right here. By line is the same, but it will jump one line, not one character. And by word, it will jump one word each frame step. So if you if you check, uh, for example, high frame steps like 20, it means the animation of the text will be slow. If you check low value like one, it means the animation will be fast. This value here, it's like, uh, for example, you, you mark one and it means the timeline will draw one character each frame step. And if you check like two, one character each two steps, two frame steps. So high value, animation slow, low value, animation fast. I will check three frame steps for my animation and create title. I will bring here to the timeline. And here you need to be careful because if you make, for example, slow text animation, for example, 20, it means the animation will take a long time to render. If your clip is too small, it will not draw the entire text. See? And it's too small and we end the clip and not even draw everything. If you want to use a slow animation, you need to have a big clip. But for us, we just need three frame steps for this kind of animation. Because our audio is not so fast and not even so slow. So I have this text right here and I will align with the audio. And check it. September 28th. Daylight. It's a bit off. When you are writing something, you first start to write and then you start to talk. It should have been the text a little bit early than the audio. September 28th. Daylight. The month is almost imperceptible, but it makes the difference. And now you are going to just duplicate the text and make some adjustments. Okay, now there is a way to keep everything in a line. You go here to the timeline, to the end of the first text, and you go back to the text editor. And you show the background. 
and now you have the first text in the background. You just keep everything in a line. We duplicate it again. Make our change. We have to somehow, there's only the second line right here. And we duplicate one last time. And I'm still alive. Now we bring everything to the timeline and just align it as the first title clip. And then we check if everything is okay, is in the right place. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow. I'm still alive. As you see right here in the monsters, the clip is too small for the animation. The animation is too slow for the clip. So we need to expand a little bit right here. We make it more bigger. And now we have this. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow. I'm still alive. Other thing right here to finish is when she stopped writing, we need a bit of time for the people read because some people read a little bit slow. So we let this text a little bit bigger, almost together with the next one. And we finish. It's just a simple typewriter effect. Now we have this built in feature inside of Cad and Live. You don't need to make a workaround anymore. You just use the typewriter in the text editor and it works perfectly for now. If you enjoy this video, just give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next video.